Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this video and I'm here with updates on Tropical Storm Zeta as well as we'll later down in this video talk about the potential for Eta, um, a next name storm in the Caribbean next week guys. And so Zeta is expected to be a hurricane and if you want to know if you'll be affected by it and how strong it might get at its maximum intensity, please keep watching this video. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right through the season and you can also follow me on instagram my weather account is weather girl danny it's my personal account is danny henry official okay guys so let us go back to that satellite view of zeta and there we have it. it's just looking pretty compact right now in the um northwestern caribbean and it is also enhancing the rainfall across portions of um the northwestern caribbean so cuba the cayman islands jamaica even portions of central america are being impacted by this and i can say for a fact that here in jamaica yesterday we were having some very very inclement weather conditions there were even some storm force winds coming off from zeta and some places experienced worse conditions i believe so things were pretty rough here to see that we're not really very close to the system but we're getting some of it and so now to the nhc's cone Okay guys, so at this time Zeta has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and it is moving to the north at a very slow 1 mile per hour and actually right now we have some watches, well we have a tropical storm watch that is in place for the northeastern portion of the Yucatan Peninsula as well as a tropical storm warning for the most westerly side of Cuba and so in terms of the Yucatan it is possible for Zeta to make landfall there on um, potentially as a hurricane as well because we're expecting some steady strengthening during the next couple of days and then when it enters the gulf it might strengthen a bit more although conditions are not expected to be very very favorable for this to become a very significant hurricane because it is not expected to be a major hurricane and a major hurricane has sustained winds of um, 111 miles per hour or more and so we're not expecting that zeta will achieve that status fortunately and so then a landfall is expected um, I would say most likely Louisiana and Mississippi will be facing the worst of the impacts from the storm as it is going to be moving inland and it is now forecast um, to make landfall early on, maybe early on Thursday or Wednesday night. But things change a lot and the storm is moving pretty slow right now even though we're expecting a consistent northwestward like track during the next couple of days. We still have to watch it and if you're along the Gulf Coast you really need to be cautious as well because this thing could be very significant. And now with what the potential track of it might be based on what our models are saying. So most of them are agreeing on what the National Hurricane Center's cone is saying that it's going to be moving to the northwest and making a turn to the north and then moving to the northeast and anywhere between the most southeasterly portion of Louisiana and Florida could feel the impacts of this tropical storm and so other states such as Georgia, Alabama, the Carolinas, possibly even Virginia as well could be impacted by this as it makes its way across the southeastern US. And so now let us go on to the potential intensity expected. And we have all our models will keep it, most of them keeping it at tropical storm and quite a few are now agreeing that it will become a hurricane. And I believe there are more models now showing that it will be a hurricane because majority um, yesterday were showing that it will just peak at tropical storm. So a cat one hurricane is the max intensity expected from Zeta and now to our models let's look at what they're expecting for the landfall area and so this first up is the GFS model and we're expecting a landfall um, somewhere between I would say the most southeasterly portion of Louisiana and even Mississippi as well could be facing a direct hit and we're not seeing them showing it very strong so I wouldn't say this is a very um, this is a hurricane at this time, but most likely a strong tropical storm. The Euro model showing something very, very similar to what the GFS model is showing for it to be making landfall. Well, this is showing it a bit more over into Louisiana. So Louisiana is going to be impacted by this, but the real question is just really whether they will face a direct landfall. And then we have the CMC model showing something very similar to what those two are showing. So none of our models here expecting this to become very strong, but bottom line is going to be affecting the east on um, the Gulf Coast of the U.S.
in areas and persons in those areas must take the necessary precautions and now on to the wind shear map so the reds mean unfavorable shear the yellows mean neutral and the greens mean favorable so we see that in the gulf of mexico we have a lot of persistent strong shear so that is the reason we're not expecting that zeta will intensify a lot or very quickly because of this reason and also when it arrives at the northern portion of the gulf of mexico ocean temperatures are getting quite cool as well so we might even see a bit of weakening before this system moves inland fortunately with this tropical system here and so now guys with the formation of zeta the season is tied with 2005 now for the most named storms on record so this is what the season is um is looking like as of now um in terms of the track of all of our tropical systems that developed and we see that there were a lot of or well, there are a lot of gulf tropical systems that affected the gulf coast of the u.s and so we've just had four major hurricanes but um we actually want to go ahead and take a look at 2005 later on but as i was saying we've only had four major hurricanes when compared to 2005 which featured seven major hurricanes so that's very fortunate um for us and so the strongest system that made landfall i believe was hurricane laura um when it made landfall along the gulf coast of the u.s and now to 2005, so we see that there were a lot of Gulf systems as well, but they were much stronger than just the couple storms and hurricanes that we've had in the Gulf for this hurricane season. So fortunately, as I said, the system is not producing as um, strong tropical cyclones as 2005 did, because if we had... Um, strong tropical systems just as how 2005 had it things would have been a lot worse um in the atlantic and as i said we're tied with 2005 for the most named storms on record and so if we have the formation of yet another tropical system which seems possible next week we will be officially the most um active season on record and so as i speak about that let us go to something that two of our models are expecting so this is the gfs model and it is showing that by all right so this is thursday the 5th of november and so there we have that system in the caribbean and then go into the cmc model it's showing something very strong as well developing in the southern caribbean and so will this really be something similar to zeta we really have to wait and see what's going to happen, guys, because things can get pretty rough going into next week. And so if this develops into a tropical cyclone as what these two models are expecting, it will acquire the name Eta, which is the next name to be used to name a tropical system, guys. And so, guys, that is it for this update. And so if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask questions. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be otherwise. Now we'll keep giving all your necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by and as we go throughout this hurricane season.